Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Utah State Aggies and the Missouri Tigers. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Tigers know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. First, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Second of all, make sure you eat up the boards. And lastly, get out on those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Trying to feed the low block. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Executes the baby hook. I'd say great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. And I think right now, got to focus defensively. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. They go into the low block, and there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Tries for two. Oh, yes. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. the perimeter he unloads a three goes they'll work it around the arc and the ball goes out of bounds oh and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team well there's euphoria out there they're really excited they're going bananas down inside. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. This, to me, this is a gift. He can't buy one. He gets the rejection. He went up and knocked it away. is animated and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Now trying to feed the low block. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there. And I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught. And this kid has responded in a positive way. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Perfectly executed. Edwards receives the pass. He nails the shot. Looking for the foul. 
He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, he'll often end up with a personal foul. Here they come now on a turnover. Looking for a good shot. Right in the circle. He drains it. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. There's a double team waiting there. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Working it around the perimeter. Controlling the ball. Barnes. Pump fakes. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. On the dribble. Gives it up. He shoots from the baseline. Way off target. Definitely a foul. the shot fake I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews I'm Brad Nessler Missouri are putting together a pretty good run here execution's been the key baby he keeps his dribble as they reset goes up for two and off the mark Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. They move it into the front court. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That's a nice-looking play right here. Watkins handles the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Top of the circle, sinks it. Good job defensively. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Stays in control until they regroup the offense. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. 
They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. The center receives the ball. Tries for two. They still don't score. The crowd really admires this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. That's an eight-zip run. the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Off the rim and no good. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Watkins handles the feed from right at the circle. Way off target. Fake. Steal. Gave it up. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. I like it when a team gets to the free-throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great that you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Goes in. Basic. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Pushes it up. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. They work it around the perimeter. On the outside. Nice fake. There's the trap. He lets it fly. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen away. And he'll kick it back outside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He strips him clean. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Wide open for the shot. It's stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it.
Draws the whistle. Off. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. He'll visit the charity strike. He gets it to go. On the outside. Trying to draw some contact. Got it. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket. And he missed. Side. Gave it up. He blocks the shot. He rejects it. Tries to get the D to bite. Executes the baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. For the bucket, Missouri have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> Time to go with him back. Where's he going? From way outside. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Jumps in. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. The skip pass is picked off. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Tickles a twine. That's an eight-nothing run. Jumped in front to take it away. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Back to the action now at half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. He should have an easy bucket here. Goes up for two. Dribble gives it up. There's the rejection. Oh, 
They work the perimeter. Nice high post screen. And he scores despite the hack. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Gave it up. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Number 55 goes to the charity stripe for two. First shot is good. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon. MBN. They work it around the perimeter. Fakes a jumper. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He gets the bucket. Oh, on the dribble, gives it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. out of play and that's one too many turnovers yeah those turnovers are really a nightmare especially when they lead to layups steals a pass gave it up he attempts the three Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. He intercepts it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He's got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. There he is, strips the ball loose. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Picks off the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Time to pick up the defense here now. From the baseline, way off target. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Woods in the paint. Opportunity for two for one. He runs the fast break. Picked off. Look at that spacing. Got a wide open look. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. Intercepted. 
Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. He tries to knock down the three. Knocks it down. Trying to beat the buzzer. He misses badly on that three-point attempt. At the end of the first half, the Aggies are behind by 27. Looks like we're in for a whale of a game, Dick Vitale. Plays of the half, what's your pick? Watch the great work here on the inside for the score. I expect both these teams to do more of the same and continue to pound the ball inside in the second half. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how their second half plays out. Missouri is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Erin. Dumps it in. Kicks off the lazy pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The power forward takes the feed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. He fires from long range. He makes the shot. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Up and inside. He shoots from outside. Nice shot. He looks for the bomb. Drains the shot. Let's take a look right here. The center gets the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He strokes it, sinks the shot. Let's slow this one down on a replay. He shoots from right of the circle, sinks the shot. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Pulls down the board. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. The power forward takes the pass. 
Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Goes up for two. Up and in. The point guard with the ball. Pushing that basketball. He comes away with it. They get out on the break. Great shot. This could be a potential blowout, Dick, if they don't cool off. And this could turn into a major league blowout if they're not careful. Intercepted. The point guard gets the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Picked off. For two, with the layup. The Tigers lead by 29. He shoots from the top of the key. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Almost lost the basketball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Tries one from three-point land. away the pass. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. He buries the shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a double team. Steals the ball. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Makes the shot. He throws up the shot. Gets it to go. Steals the pass. Pushes it. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Top of the circle. You bet you. The Aggies are down by 24. Steel go up the other way, get a layup. Jam City, baby, that's a rim rocker. The Aggies are trailing by 26. They work it around the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Looking for a good shot. Steals a pass. 
for the deuce. Basket falls despite the contact. Let's take a look at that last hoop. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. The Aggies have a mismatch in the post. Can we get them the ball, though? For the bucket, finger roll. He pump fakes. Number three is getting some love from the crowd now. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Rims out. Ball's swatted. Player swatted as well. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shoots it off the rim and no good. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The Aggies have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on the court. From three-point territory, he missed. Any chance these guys are going to slow up on D tonight, Dick? Hey, not on your life, Brad. This defense is here to stay, baby. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. They run it up into transition. Stolen away. They work it back to the outside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Takes it off him. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He looks for three. He nails the bucket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the outside. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. the kick out he puts up the tray goes in it's stolen nice job there by the defense knocking the ball loose then getting possession that's seven on answer They work the perimeter. 
Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover game. I think turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. On the inside. Goes up for two. Trying to draw the foul. That's nine unanswered. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Outside jumper, rims out. the ball. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped them. Utah State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. Puts it up, looking for contact. The lane. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Gave it up. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? For two, sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets it to fall. <laughs> Went away from the post and goes the other way. Thinks about the shot. He hits the shot. Picks off the pass. High post screen. So effective that shot. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. He'll get one. Buries it. perimeter up and inside he's got some room on the top of the circle and he makes the three in the paint good defensive stance there against the spin move well the keys to beat him to the spot he did a great job he anticipated that spin move It rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Off the rim and no good. And 
that and momentary look from three-point land. Knocked out of there. Blocked. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Dick down to the air. They'll work it around the arc. for two. Easy one. Dick, what do you think about this lack of motivation on defense here? I think you should suit up, Brad. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. For the bucket. Rims out. the perimeter picked off Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there I think doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot playing in front making the throw the lob pass over the top if you get help you can take that pass away there's the fake up fake and he'll kick it back outside the top of the key. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. He takes a three. He gets the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Three. Makes it. That's what I call a hard screen. Picked off. And the ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They push it up on the break. Foul called. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Makes the second. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a the groove, baby. And when they're in a the groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. 
the Tigers is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.